In the sepia-tinged tapestry of television history, there exists a gem that sparkles with the charm of an old western saloon. Close your eyes and let nostalgia ride the winds of memory back to that first encounter with the 1957 TV series, Tales of Wells Fargo. Can you recall the way the flickering screen transported you to a world of dusty trails and the resolute echo of hoofbeats? Perhaps it was a lazy Sunday afternoon or a late night rendezvous with classic storytelling. But one thing's for certain, that show left an indelible mark on the canvas of your entertainment journey. As you journey back to the days of black and white wonder, what scenes unfurl before your mind's eye? Was it the rugged yet dashing Dale Robertson as Jim Hardy, the roving agent of Wells Fargo, delivering justice in parcels with equal parts finesse? Or perhaps the sprawling landscapes, each frame a picturesque postcard from an era when untamed frontiers whispered secrets only the brave dared to hear? Those characters, those stories of EUR, they ignited a fascination, a connection that lingers even now. But enough sentimentality for it's time to peel back the curtain on some hidden gems about the show. Did you know that the creator, Frank Gruber, drew inspiration from real Wells Fargo agents' exploits to weave his tales of adventure? And oh, the show was a seamless blend of fiction and history, capturing the essence of the wild, wild west. So saddle up, dear reader, for a ride through the riveting randomness that made Tales of Wells Fargo an unforgettable part of television folklore. Buckle your seatbelts, because we're about to embark on a journey through the annals of time and storytelling, unearthing nuggets of information that even the most avid fans might not know. It's a rendezvous with history, a tango with trivia, and an ode to the power of television to etch tales in our hearts. So lean in, soak up the anecdotes, and get ready to enrich your appreciation for a show that's left its mark on the tapestry of time. As we unravel these intriguing tidbits, remember at EUR it's not just about the show, it's about the memories you've woven around it, like a cowboy's weathered lasso capturing fleeting moments of joy. And now, as the stage is set and the spotlight turns to the hidden stories behind the scenes, let the adventure begin. So sit back, relax, and let the spirit of Tales of Wells Fargo carry you back to a time when television was a portal to uncharted territories. Get ready to discover, reminisce, and celebrate the magic of storytelling that knows no bounds at EUR for Tales of the Past are here to stay. Amidst the television landscape of 1957, the iconic series Tales of Wells Fargo carved a trail of its own, captivating audiences with its western allure and captivating narratives. While numerous facts adorn its legacy, one stands up prominently at EUR the reimagining of its closing credits in season 4 and 5. The sight of a locomotive majestically traversing the plains served as the denouement for each episode, a symbol of both journey and destination. This very stock footage found an unexpected second home, gracing the ending credits of the man who shot Liberty Valance, bridging two distinct tales in an unforeseen convergence of narratives. But the story doesn't halt there, the locomotive's journey transcended the realm of fiction. The very locomotive tender that chugged across screens, accompanied by its faithful train, later metamorphosed into the beloved Hooterville Cannonball. A remarkable continuity intertwined these seemingly disparate universes, underscoring the show's enduring influence. Yet, even amidst the splendor of the Old West, a small yet intriguing anomaly emerged. In episode 32, titled The Tall Texan, a keen-eyed viewer could discern an anachronistic cameo at EUR a power line with a transformer atop a utility pole. A subtle reminder of the modern world's encroachment into the untamed frontier, it epitomized the meticulous attention to detail that both the creators and the audience held dear. Tales of Wells Fargo, a series etched into the annals of television history, continues to beckon modern enthusiasts into its evocative world. The locomotive's dual odyssey, from planes to cannons, and the incongruous glimpse of modernity, all contribute to its timeless allure. As the wheels of time roll on, these intriguing tidbits ensure that the tales of the Old West ride on into eternity. The locomotive featured in the iconic 1957 TV series Tales of Wells Fargo shared an unexpected connection with another beloved show of the era. The very same steam engine graced the screens of Casey Jones, a testament to the resourcefulness of early television production. This fascinating link adds a layer of intrigue to the tales of frontier adventures and banking exploits that captivated audiences every week. Co-creator Gene Reynolds marked a significant milestone with Tales of Wells Fargo. 
It stood as his inaugural venture into the realm of series creation, showcasing his prowess not only as a storyteller, but also as a visionary in the burgeoning world of television. This debut would set the stage for Reynolds' future successes, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. Dale Robertson, the charismatic star of the show, formed an unbreakable bond with his equine companion, Jubilee. What sets this partnership apart is the fact that Jubilee was not merely a prop or a rented steed at EUR, he was Robertson's very own horse. This genuine connection between actor and horse undoubtedly infused an extra layer of authenticity into the portrayal of the rugged life along the Wells Fargo Trail. As the dust settles on this chapter of television history, Tales of Wells Fargo remains a testament to innovation, creative ambition, and the power of unforeseen connections. The shared locomotive, Gene Reynolds' maiden voyage, and the true companionship between Dale Robertson and Jubilee all contribute to the rich tapestry of anecdotes that continue to fascinate enthusiasts of classic TV. These details remind us that behind the silver screen's glamour, there lie stories as compelling as those that unfolded on the small screen. Riding shotgun with tales of Wells Fargo, unveiling the Wild West TV gem amidst the dust and tumbleweeds of 1950s television. One series rode high in the saddle, captivating audiences with its gritty portrayal of the Old West, Tales of Wells Fargo. This classic show, led by the indomitable Dale Robertson as Jim Hardy, the rugged Wells Fargo agent, brought the untamed frontier to living rooms across America. Beyond the gripping narratives of stagecoach robberies and lawless showdowns, the series held hidden gems that enriched its legacy. One such nugget lies in the details of its production. The iconic steam engine that chugged through the show's opening credits and exhilarating chase scenes was no mere prop. It was the venerable number three from the Sierra Railroad in Jamestown, California. This iron horse not only lent an air of authenticity to the show, but also connected the series to the rich history of the region. Many of the on-screen escapades were staged in what we now know as Columbia State Historic Park, its streets and buildings transforming into the gritty backdrop of the Old West. But authenticity wasn't limited to locomotives and landscapes. Dale Robertson, the charismatic star, immersed himself in his role to a remarkable extent. A natural right-hander, Robertson defied convention by training himself to draw and fire his gun left-handed. This unexpected move lent his character, Jim Hardy, an unmistakable edge, distinguishing him as a unique gunslinger in the pantheon of Western heroes. While the show's weekly shootouts enthralled television audiences, a lesser-known tale unfolded off-screen. Tales of Wells Fargo made its mark in the realm of comic books, too. Dell Comics brought the Wild West to newsstands with a vibrant comic book adaptation, its cover graced by the rugged visage of Dale Robertson himself. In an era where a dime could open portals to thrilling adventures, this comic book deepened the engagement of fans and further embedded the show's imagery in the collective imagination. As the credits rolled on Tales of Wells Fargo, the legacy of this western gem continued to resonate through the years. Its locomotive echoes through time, its star's unconventional dedication remains etched in history, and even its ink and paper incarnations endure as cherished relics of a bygone era. So, let us tip our hats to the trailblazing spirit of Tales of Wells Fargo and its enduring impact on the mythos of the Old West. In 1957, the TV series Tales of Wells Fargo rode into the hearts of viewers, offering a captivating portrayal of the Wild West's tumultuous era. The show, based on Wells Fargo's history, introduced regular and special agents who wielded badges and held limited law enforcement powers. Notably, Jim Hardy, a special agent, rarely revealed his badge throughout the series. The pilot episode, fittingly titled A Tale of Wells Fargo, debuted on the Schlitz Playhouse anthology TV series. This intriguing introduction paved the way for the full-fledged Tales of Wells Fargo series, which galloped onto screens the following year. This transition marked the beginning of a captivating journey through stagecoach heists, lawless towns, and the trials of frontier life. Adding to the show's authenticity was the locomotive that chugged across the screen. Familiar to viewers of Casey Jones, the same steam engine found a new role on Tales of Wells Fargo. Its presence lent an air of realism to the series, transporting audiences back to a time when the West was truly wild. Tales of Wells Fargo emerged as a Western classic, weaving its narrative around the exploits of Wells Fargo's agents and the challenges they faced. 
The series' dedication to realism, from the portrayal of agents to the choice of locomotive, elevated it beyond mere entertainment, offering a window into an era that shaped the American frontier. So saddle up and journey back to the days of stagecoaches and sheriffs, as Tales of Wells Fargo continues to captivate audiences with its gripping stories from the heart of the Old West. As we ride off into the sunset of reminiscence, the timeless allure of the 1957 TV series, Tales of Wells Fargo, beckons us to pause and ponder the whispers of history it carried. Like a sepia-tinted portal, it invites you to trace your own journey back to those days of rugged trails and uncharted territories. Perhaps you recall the clinking of spurs against wooden saloon floors, the resolute gaze of a lone lawman, or the tales of dreams pursued on horseback. Every scene spun its own yarn, weaving the tapestry of the Wild West, leaving an indelible mark on the canvas of entertainment. The characters walked beside us, sharing their adventures and trials, reminding us of the unyielding spirit that forged the backbone of a nation. So now, let the campfire of your memories flicker to life. What resonates with you? Was it the camaraderie between characters, the thrill of high-stakes showdowns, or the dusty trails that mirrored the roads of your own life? In the echoes of Tales of Wells Fargo, find the resonance with your own tales at EUR, the ones etched in the sands of time, awaiting to be revisited. As the credits roll on this chapter of our discourse, I implore you to share your cherished recollections, your musings on how this series wove itself into your personal narrative. Let your voice become part of the ongoing saga, enriching the collective treasure trove of memories for those who walk the path alongside you. Your sentiments are the cornerstone of this dialogue and your reflections are the threads that weave us closer to the essence of this timeless classic. Thank you, dear reader, viewer, for your time, your thoughts, and your connection to the enigmatic tales of Wells Fargo. Until our trails converge once more, keep those stories alive.